What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute abs strength workout. So grab a light set of dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up everyone? So excited that you're here for our 40 minute workout today. And I'm excited this workout is AMRAP style. So not only are we gonna get stronger in our core, but mentally I'm gonna challenge you to really push yourself throughout the workout, okay? So be ready to rock with me. We're gonna do the same exercises. You're gonna do it at your pace. Everyone's gonna do it at their own pace and I'm gonna show you how to either step it up or slow it down throughout the course of our AMRAP circuits, okay? You guys ready? All right, make sure I have light dumbbells here with me today. They are not required, but they are an option if you wanna step it up. I have three pound dumbbells, so I might use two at a time, I might use one at a time, and there are some exercises I won't use either of them, okay? so. Um, sweat towel, water, dumbbells are optional, or wrist weights or ankle weights, okay? So if you guys are ready, come on down to the mat with me and we'll start our warm up. Okay, I want you to start down on all fours, okay? And let's just start with a cat and cow motion, okay? So dropping your stomach down on your inhale, I want you to pull it up. Exhale, drop it down. Let's do five of these. There you go, two more. And last one, pull it up, exhale, let it down. And walk it forward, drop those hips down, and lift your chin. And really feel that stretch in your hip flexors. Now let's twist left to right. Lower back might have popped there, I know mine did. Stretch those hip flexors way out. Three, two, one. All right, come on to your forearms. Okay, we're gonna go into just a plank pike, still just warming up, so nice and slow. Okay, forearm plank, and then I want you to push your head back between your elbows and back down. Let's get this shoulder mobility working here. And back down. the hips and lift them back up. One more, drop it down, lift and come onto your knees. Let's go into a runner's lunge stretch. So bringing your left leg up out front, outside of your left arm. Let's stretch back and forth. Back and forth. And as you sit back in your hips, I want you to feel that stretch in your hamstring here. The straight leg out front is gonna get a little hamstring. We'll be doing some exercises where your legs are right up over your hips. So we will need those hamstrings to be loose. There we go, give me one more. Let's sit back, back, back together. Exhale, bring it forward. All right, let's switch it over to the other leg. Right foot outside your right hand. Let's drop it down first and push it back. Bring those hips forward. Now push your front hip down towards the mat as far as you can. And down. There we go. Feel the hamstring stretch and then feel that hip flexor stretch. Alrighty, let's get ready to work. I'm gonna tell you the breakdown of the workout, I'm gonna tell you the two exercises, and then I will set a clock, and we'll look at the clock, and we'll start for four minutes, okay? So we have four minute AMRAPs today. What that means is I'm gonna watch the clock, we're gonna start at one time, four minutes later, we're gonna stop, okay? Within those four minutes, you have two exercises to do. So our first AMRAP, we have 12 reps of butterfly sit-ups, so feet are together, Soles of your shoes are together. You're going down and up. Okay, 12 reps of butterfly sit-ups. As soon as you're done with your 12 reps, you've got 12 Russian twists. 24 total, 12 each side. Okay, four minutes are on the clock and let's go together. Here we go. 12 butterfly sit-ups are first. If you wanna grab those dumbbells, 
Hold them right at your chest. Count your reps. Exhale on the way up. As soon as you get to 12, go right into your Russian twist. Good, Russian twist to make it a little harder. Feet are up. One, two. Yeah, there we go. Come on. When you get to 12, go right back to those sit-ups. First minute is done. Okay, so judge if you wanna add your dumbbells to those sit-ups, you can. I'm going to as well. Here we go, minute two. And this open hip stance, or this butterfly position of your legs, helps really isolate the lower abs. Good job, when you get to 12, switch. Next exercise, switch, switch, switch. As many rounds as possible. That's what AMRAP stands for. There we go, keep it up. Whew. There you go, on the Russian twist, your heels can be down, just make sure you're leaning back, okay? Whew. Let's do it, keep rocking guys. Two minutes, about two, Minutes and 15 seconds down. Let's keep rocking. Remember, this is your workout. It's your own pace. Okay, so depend on yourself to really push yourself to those limits today. That's what this workout is all about. Feeling that burn, knowing in your head, you can do it. You can do more. Switch when you get to 12, I know it burns. I'm with you. Legs can be down on the Russian twist. If you wanna step it up, lift them off the ground. We have one more minute. Let's go. Whew. Whew. There we go, after this minute, we will get one minute rest, so I need you to keep working. Let's earn this one minute rest. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Come on, push, push, push. That's it, 15 seconds. How many more reps can you give me? Let's go. Good. Seven, six. And rest. Woo! Feeling that burn, okay. Good work, grab some water. You have one minute rest. And we're gonna go right back into another four minute AMRAP after this. You will be laying on your back again, so stay down here with me on the mat. All right, this next one, next circuit, we have alternating jackknives and heel taps, okay? Whew. You guys doing all right? Yes? Okay, alternating jackknives. We're gonna start laying flat, arms are overhead, legs are out straight. You're gonna come up, shorter blades off the ground, touching that opposite toe, and switch. This one is six each leg, okay? Your next exercise, crunching those shorter blades up, Six each leg as well. Tap the heel. Two, three, four, five. Okay, 12 and 12, as many rounds as we can. Two, one, let's do it. Jack knives are first. Reach to the opposite toe. Modification, just give me a crunch 
Reach to the opposite knee. Okay, keep it up. Let's get to 12 and then switch to those heel taps. Good, on your heel taps, feet are flat, about 12 inches from your butt. Crunch those shoulder blades up and reach. <laughs> Good job. Keep rocking. Remember, four minutes, we've got to push ourselves. I'm right here with you, pushing myself. First minute is over. Let's go into minute two. You can add dumbbells to this one if you want. It looks like this. Dumbbells are overhead, reach with one hand. Overhead, reach with one hand. heel taps, not really a great way to do the dumbbells there, so if you want, you can hold them in your hands and crunch to the side. Whew. Okay, everyone, big deep breath. Let's keep rocking. Minute number two is done. Here we go with minute number three. Wherever you're at, whatever rep you're on, tell yourself, I can do this. That's it. Because you can. We just have to talk ourselves through it. We're getting stronger physically, absolutely. You can feel that burn. But mentally, you've got to be just as strong in pushing yourself through this type of workout. And that's why I have it here for you today. It's not just about physically getting stronger. It's about getting your mind used to pushing yourself, getting mentally stronger, okay? Keep rocking, heel taps and jackknives. Whew. Heel taps give you such a good burn so fast, don't they? Whew. Alrighty, let's go, keep rocking with me. I'm here with you, we can do this. We have one more minute left. Minute number three is over. Last minute here, and then you know what's next. One minute rest, because we're earning it. Earn that rest. Thirty seconds. Keep rocking, come on. Push through everything that's telling you to slow down, to stop. All right, 15 seconds, how much more can you give me? Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, oh, one minute rest. Amazing job. Circuit number two is done. So proud of you. Okay, next exercise we have a supinated and a pronated movement. So you'll be facing the ground on one, you'll be seated on the next. So we'll be transitioning a little more on this one. Okay? You guys still have 30 seconds rest. I'll show you your exercises and I'll tell you when to start. First move, we have a forearm plank hip tap, okay? Forearm plank is your stance and you're just literally doing exactly what it says, touching your hip. I want you to touch opposite hip, okay? Six each side. After that, we've got six each side of a seated tuck. Feet are out straight. You're gonna lean back, tuck one, two, three, four, up to 12, okay? Let's start with our plank hip taps in two, one, here we go. 12 taps, so six each hip, ready? Come on.
right. Let's flip it over. Straight legs. We're going to bring one knee into the chest at a time. One, two, three. I'll try not to count because I know that's hard for you to count and for me to count. We might be on different paces. Stay lean back. Great job. When you're ready, when you're done with 12 of each, flip right back over. All right, we can do this. Planks, remember, butt is down. Try not to swivel your hips too much. Also, modification for that plank hip tap is just to give me a high plank, okay? That'll make the angle a little bit less severe <laughs> or a little bit less uh, steep for you. Okay, so if you need to modify, go up to a high plank, totally fine. Just do what you can to make sure that your form stays tight, okay? You guys doing okay? Awesome job. First minute is over. We're almost done with our second minute as well. Let's keep rocking. Keep moving. Keep working. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. Whew, second minute is done. Moving on to minute number three. Keep going. Another way to make this one harder, you can float that leg off the ground. Reach, tuck, okay? Just another way to step it up. Awesome job. Woo. Are you with me still? We've got just over a minute and a half left. Just under a minute and a half left, sorry. Come on. Work for that core strength. Good. Keep switching, I know you're at your own pace. We've got one minute left. I try not to count, I know you guys gave me feedback, so it's too much to listen to me count and you try to count in your head, so. Keep rocking, I'll just update you on the time. <sighs> Got about 45 seconds left. Are you breathing? <sighs> Good, let's keep it up. Last 30 seconds here, and then you've got a one minute rest, come on. Nice long body, pull that belly button in. All right, 10 seconds, what can you give me in 10 seconds? Ready, let's go. Two, one, rest. Good job, we've got a one minute rest. All right, big deep breath. We're moving on to our third, <laughs> third circuit. Done with our third circuit, sorry. All right, one minute rest. Done with our plank hip taps. Come up, I want you to fill your lungs up for just a second. All right, 30 seconds. We're gonna go to a 45 degree side toe touch. Okay, so bottom knee is flat. You're going to go 12 on the right, 12 on the left. So this one will be a little bit more transition as well. Your leg stays at 45 degrees. Okay, you're crunching up, trying to get to that shin. 12 on the right, 12 on the left. After that, you're going to go crunched knee tucks. Okay, so here, reach and reach. Okay, both legs. You ready? Two, one, let's go. Keep that leg at 45 degrees. Reach and down. Count to 12 here, and then 12 on the other side. Good job. So 
soon as you get to 12, roll over. I'm gonna flip side so you guys aren't looking at my back. <laughs> Leave that leg up in the air. After you get to 12, we're back to the knee tucks. So tuck it in, open, tuck, open. Good work, we are a minute and 15 seconds into this one. Back to those 45 degree toe touches. Make sure your leg stays up the whole time. That engages your lower abs, okay? If you lift your leg, feel your abs. Okay, keep it up there. That's it. Come on, keep counting. Keep pushing yourself. I know it's foreign to me not to talk while I'm counting, but I'm trying to make you guys work for your workout, okay? Keep that leg up, reach. Good work, good work. Are you breathing? Yes? Okay. Two minutes and 15 seconds down. <sighs> Whew. Good work, two and a half minutes in. We're over halfway through this one. We're over halfway through your entire workout. So keep working hard. Come on, I'm here with you. If you need any motivation, you can look up and look at me struggling right along with you. Good, big deep breath when you need it. As you're transitioning, big deep breath. We've got about 45 seconds left in this one. Come on, work hard for me. Breathe and reach. That's it. Come on, we can do it. Last 20 seconds in this one and then one minute rest. Nine seconds. Three, two, and one rest. Whew. Beautiful. You've got one minute rest and you've earned it. Like I said last time, come on up. Stretch out your lungs, stretch out your belly. You've got a whole minute rest intentionally so your abs can recover a little bit. Whew. All right, next circuit. You guys keep resting. Okay, we've got 30 seconds still. First move is gonna be a plank, knee to elbows. So you're in a high plank this time on your hands. If you have wrist issues, drop to your elbows. That's totally fine. Plank, knee to elbow. So you're crossing, same side. Right to right, left to left. Six each leg. After that, you're going V, toe touches. Legs are up in a V, just like this. You're shooting through the middle, okay? Five seconds, let's start with that plank. All right, knee to the same side, elbow. Two, one, let's go. Six per leg, 12 total. As soon as you get there, flip on your back. Legs are up wide. Out to the side. If you need to modify, just take them down, that's fine. 
Try to get up above your knees. And control it down. Don't get up there and then just free fall slam down, okay? Reach, relax. We've got four minutes and I want your reps to be quality. Good. When you're ready, come back over. First minute is already done. Whew. Already one minute into this one. You guys are doing great. Stay with me. I'm with you. Stay with me. Great job. That transition time is good to breathe, but don't spend too much time switching. This is an exercise where you can grab your dumbbells as well. that you feel like you can step it up and grab your dumbbells, please do, okay? Whew. You're doing great. Keep rocking with me. Whew. We're already two minutes down, over two minutes done. Second half of this one, let's go. work. Like I said, if your wrists start bothering you, I know some people have mentioned they have wrist issues, just drop onto your forearms for that toe touch or for the plank, sorry. Keep breathing. Come on. we go. Third minute is done. Let's go one more minute together. Come on. Last minute of this one. You can do it. It's getting tough. It has been tough the whole time. Take a big deep breath. Talk yourself through it. Keep thinking positive, right? I talked yesterday a lot about in my video that you have to talk positive to yourself. You can't just say it and then not really believe it. You have to say it, believe it, tell yourself, I can do it. I am strong. got one minute rest. I talked a lot about before my injury about just being blessed with the ability to work out. It may sound cliche, but I know anyone has been injured, you know that you crave exercise. When you can't do it, you want it. So embrace this feeling of tired, hurting, cramping, can't breathe. You're going to feel amazing afterwards and people would kill to be where you are that are injured, that are not able, okay? So just think positive. Be blessed to be where you are, okay? Come on down to the floor when you're grabbing your drink when you're done. Okay, first move, we've got a single leg raise. We've still got 10 seconds left here. So one leg at a time, you're lifting your legs off the floor, lifting one at a time. Okay, your second move is gonna be a side plank hip drop. Okay, so we're right here, six per side. Ready, let's go. We'll start with single leg raise. Legs are out front, raise one at a time. Come back together, one together, one together. The lower you keep them, the tougher it is. So keep those legs as low as you can with your back on the floor. Right, 
When you're done there, come onto a side plank. If you need to modify this plank, bend your knees. We're tapping the hip to the floor for six on each side. Okay, when you're done, you can roll right over. Think how strong you are right now. There we go. And then you're back to your single leg raises. First minute is done. Keep rocking with me, guys. Come on. Here we go. Six each leg and six each side. I know breathing is tough right now. Any core exercise makes your breathing tough, but you gotta breathe. There we go. Six and six. Keep that hand right over your chest or on your hips so that your chest isn't caving forward. Okay, keep it all open, hips and chest. Minute number two is done. Two down, two to go. And guys, we have one more circuit after this. That's it. We can do this. Okay, come on. The end is so near. You are so strong. You're so capable of crushing the rest of this workout. Let's go. Six per leg, six per side. You're doing fantastic. If you need to modify it, don't be ashamed of that. Drop down, it's okay. All right, if you wanna step it up, throw a dumbbell in your hand on your hip. It makes it a little bit harder. Three minutes down, we've got one to go. Forty-five seconds. Show me what you got. Show yourself what you got. You are able to do this. If you're modifying the leg raise, maybe go from top to bottom. Okay, that's another way to do it. Keep the legs here. Drop one at a time. Make it a little tougher. Bring one up at a time. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. One minute rest and we're gonna start our last circuit together, guys. Whew. Can you believe it? Last circuit. If you're here right now, I know the middle gets tough. It gets a little foggy, you get a little discouraged, but when the end comes around, that energy starts to pump back up. That's your mind. And we've just gotta train it to stay optimistic, okay? To stay in the game. Lay on your back when you are ready. Whew. All right, we got this. We've got this. Last circuit, leg raises and bicycles, okay? What your leg raises look like a little bit different than what we just did, okay? So, pulling your feet right up over your chest or over your hips, you're going up and up from here. Okay, second exercise, you've got 12 of those. Second exercise, bicycles, 12 each side. Ready? Let's start with the leg raises. Here we go, up, down, up, down. And if you need a little help, go a little lower, swing, okay? Or you can reach overhead, hold onto a bench or your chair or the couch. Whatever you can anchor yourself with, that's fine too. Try 
Try to get your heels to the ceiling. When you get to 12 there, go to bicycles. 12 each leg, reach that one leg out straight, twist over opposite leg to opposite elbow. Four, five, five, six, six, 12 each leg. Good, first minute is done. Second minute, here we go. We've got three minutes left in your whole workout. Great job. Two and a half minutes down. <sighs> sorry, one and a half minutes down. Sorry, 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 didn't mean to joke you. <sighs> All right, now two minutes down. We are officially two minutes down, two minutes to go. You can do this, turn it up a little bit. Let's finish strong together. Keep rocking, two and a half minutes down. Switch, 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 come on. I know it's tough, but I know you're capable. I know you're strong enough. I know mentally, you're gonna talk yourself through it. Yes, we can. Okay, incredible news. One minute to go. Let's go, guys. Last minute. Forty five seconds. Last thirty seconds right here. Come on. Ten seconds. Give me what you've got left in the tank. Come on. Let's go. Seven, six. This is it right here. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. We have made it through your 40 minute ab workout. Grab a quick drink of water. We're going to roll right into the cool down. Don't skip the cool down. I want you to stretch these muscles out. But take a minute and just be proud of yourself. We did it. When you're done, go ahead and roll over onto your stomach for me. If you're still laying on your back, this is perfect. Just roll right over onto your stomach. <laughs> All right, hands are right under your shoulder. Press up, 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 and away. Yes, it's tight. Whew. Breathe deep. Shift your shoulders to face the left side and the right side, slowly. And then come back, shoot your hips back over your calves. Let's go back into that child's pose position. Walk your fingertips out, let your lower back, your middle back, in your head relax. Come on up onto all fours. Okay, and I want you to come up onto your knees. 
Whew. Good work. Reach your left arm up overhead, shoving your hip to that same side. I want you to reach and stretch your obliques right here. And switch. Reach up, over, arch it, arch it, arch it. One more time, link those fingertips together now. Let's reach over and back, over and back. Guys, you should be so proud of yourself. If you're here now, that was a tough workout, physically and mentally. Strength is not just about how many calories you're burning, okay, or how sweaty you can get, but also how much can you tap in to what you're thinking. Go ahead and come on up, big deep breath in as you reach up. Exhale, let it go, fold forward. One vertebrae at a time, roll it up and we are officially done. So like I was saying, it's not all about how many calories you burned or how sweaty you are. It's also about how far can you push yourself. You, yourself, wherever you are, I know I'm here doing a certain pace. You are on your own, inevitably, right? In reality, you are there on your own. Maybe you have a friend, but you don't have a trainer right beside you telling you, hurry up, speed up, come on, let's go, lift it up. So how well did you coach yourself through this? How positively did you talk to yourself through this workout? Okay, think back to it. I know we've all probably had times where we talk negatively to ourselves. Oh, why are you so tired? Why are you so weak? Why are you not able to do this? I don't want any of that for you, and I know you don't want that for yourself. Okay, so always talk positively to yourself. Through these workouts, they're not easy because you're pushing yourself, okay? Give yourself credit where credit is due. You're working your butt off, okay? So talk positively to yourself. Great job, this is tough, I'm doing it, I'm gonna finish. Keep those positive thoughts rolling in the workout and throughout the day. I have such a big heart for positive talk, okay? Realize how blessed you are to be able to work out, okay? I know I said that before my injury, but now I really, really get it. It really sinks in if you've had an injury or you're not able to work out at some point in your life for whatever reason. It really sinks in how blessed we are to be able to just move, okay? So positive talk, count your blessings, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for another great workout, okay? Make sure before you head out, if you finish this workout, give me a big thumbs up here and the thumbs up button below. And don't forget to click subscribe so you and I can work out again tomorrow. Count your blessings, be thankful, and talk positive to yourself. Good work, guys. Bye.